heavyweight division collision. Twelve, thirteen months. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Adesanya is four years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. All right, commit the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the Oscar. And a second. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at both movements in his looking. Nice punch lands over the top. Just a slip there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Adesanya gets touched by that kick there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And he's looking. You can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. That's a really strong leg kick there by Adesanya. He loaded up on that right hand, too. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Big body kick. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finish. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Adesanya gets absolutely melted by that head kick. A little single collar tie there. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Big kick land. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts and he finally has secured it. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Strong lot of work here, staying busy. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. And they both stand up. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming. Man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker. He is very dangerous with all of us. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time. You never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike.
strike that he was looking for. Nice punch by Adesanya. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Adesanya. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. From that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. While right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Let's go, fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. All right, so he's landed some good critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Good takedown defense by Israel. Oh, uppercuts to the chin, and not just one of them. See, this is getting ugly. Multiple uppercuts to the chin. You cannot take this many shots to the head if you want your night to continue. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. I thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That's a big strike right there. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's going to be busy. Oh, high-level takedown defense there. He continues to stuff every takedown attempt throughout this round. Oh, man, that leg all beat up. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Jab hurt him a little bit. Sonya gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Clean left punch followed by the right. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just unable to quite find that range. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And they separate. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection. Knee's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Back to the feet. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, my goodness! He got him! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as...
success he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 36 seconds of round number two. You're going to the winner by knockout, Israel the Lifestyle Bender, Alessandra. So the celebration.